After releasing the poorly received remaster of Sonic Colors to mark the Blue Hedgehog's 30th birthday, I was starting to worry that maybe Sega was not very good at celebrating important anniversaries. Thankfully, they've redeemed themselves with the release of Super Monkey Ball and Animania, a new compilation that combines the first three entries into one overwhelming package. With hundreds of levels, all kinds of fun party games, and a staggering amount of modes and items to unlock, Banana Mania makes a strong argument for why Super Monkey Ball has managed to endure for two full decades. Let's take a look back at why both longtime fans and newcomers should be excited for this comprehensive collection. Looking back at the original GameCube release, it's easy to see why Super Monkey Ball was such a big hit. Not only was the game adorable, but it was also incredibly easy to wrap your head around, making it the perfect experience for both casual and hardcore gamers alike. And even after you've grown tired of rolling the monkey balls into the goal, there's still a bunch of fun multiplayer mini-games just waiting to extend the game's life. Tossing a cast of likable characters and 100 vibrant puzzles to overcome, and you have a game that's hard to resist. Look, I'll confess, I too was caught up in Super Monkey Ball's charm back in the early 2000s. I loved both the GameCube original and its 2002 sequel, but then quickly fell off as the bananas started to stack up. Even with all the fun bonus modes and cameos, the core gameplay and level designs didn't change enough from one installment to the next to keep me interested. Sega opted for gameplay gimmicks instead of truly shaking up the formula, something that left me a little cold when I reviewed Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz HD back in 2019. Now, as a compilation, Banana Mania does a great job of reminding us what made the first few Monkey Ball titles great to begin with. There aren't a lot of gimmicks here, just fun and infuriating level designs that look simple, but are in reality devilishly tricky to complete. The idea is to navigate your way to the goal by tilting the stage in the direction you want the monkey ball to roll. Think of it like one of those marble mazes that you buy at a toy store where you have to move the whole board around in order to get anywhere. Of course, the game isn't nearly as simple as it sounds. They draw you in with the most straightforward levels that even the most novice gamer can complete in the first try. But it won't take long before you're forced to put up with floating platforms, leaps of faith, narrow paths, floors with monkey ball sized holes, and pretty much anything else they can throw at you. It's the kind of game where a single stage may only take you 20 or 30 seconds to beat, but that comes after dozens of attempts where you roll right off the side into a bottomless pit. Now, in case you're wondering, there is a story mode that is based on a bunch of monkey ball infused television shows. It's the usual setup where the villainous Dr. Bad Boon sucks up all the bananas, prompting the monkeys to jump into a bunch of balls and get them back. Look, the barely there story is only around to take us to a bunch of different locations, including a volcano, the ocean, an amusement park, a washing machine, and even inside of a whale. Well, at one point, the evil doctor literally shrinks our heroes down in hopes of using them in a delicious stew. What this compilation has going for it is content. Lots and lots and lots of content. By including stages, modes, and mini-games from Super Monkey Ball 1 and 2, as well as Deluxe, Banana Mania contains more than 300 stages, all of which look better than ever thanks to the remastered package. On top of having an overwhelming amount of levels to go through, there are also hundreds of missions to complete, including stage and challenge tasks that'll have you reaching the goal in a set amount of time, or just picking up as many bananas as possible. For every banana you pick up, level you beat, or mission that you complete, you'll earn coins that'll unlock new characters, balls, costumes, and even new filters. While most of these are cosmetic in nature, I was actually surprised to see that the jump ability was available for purchase next to Beat from Jet Set Radio. This is one of several ways the compilation tries to make the harder levels a little easier to manage. Let me tell you, I can attest that being able to jump makes a huge difference. 
For those still having trouble completing a stage, there's now a slow motion button, plus a way to extend the time and show the optimal path to the goal. Observant monkey ballers may also find a few tweaks to the stages, rebalancing some of the more notoriously tricky stages. Don't worry, you can still play the old school stages in the original mode. And don't forget about the reverse mode, the dark banana mode, the golden banana mode, and the deluxe mode. Yeah, like I said, there's a staggering amount of content in Banana Mania, and obviously most of it is banana related. And boy, we haven't even talked about the 12 party modes, which is where most of the multiplayer fun is stored. This selection of games includes all the fan favorite mini games from the first few installments, including Monkey Racing, Monkey Billiards, Monkey Bowling, Monkey Golf, Monkey Dog Fights, and Monkey Soccer. Some of these games make more sense than others. For example, the monkey tennis mode feels almost indistinguishable from the real sport, whereas monkey baseball is the kind of thing that you can only find in Super Monkey Ball. These mini games are hit or miss, and your fun will probably depend on whether you're going up against the computer or playing with a bunch of friends. In a lot of ways, this is almost a complete 180 when compared to Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz HD. When I reviewed the remastered port a couple of years ago, I complained that players could see most of what the game had to offer in just a couple of hours, making it feel overpriced at $40. Banana Mania, on the other hand, retails at the exact same price, yet feels like a bargain. With hundreds of stages, tons of modes, and all your favorite party games, this has almost everything a Super Monkey Ball fan could possibly want. This is a great birthday gift for the fans, and one of the best compilations Sega's released in a long time. The problem that I ran into is that by having so much content, it only worked to remind me why I stopped playing Super Monkey Ball in the first place. Sure, the gimmicks and additional nonsense got in the way after a while, but so did the repetition. While I appreciate the large variety of stage designs and all the weird obstacles that they can throw at you, I ended up getting to a point where I simply had enough. I just didn't want to play Super Monkey Ball anymore. Granted, it was after completing more than 100 stages, but it reminded me that the simple concept can only go so far. The good news is there are still more than 100 stages waiting for me when I end up getting that itch for more Monkey Ball, plus all kinds of other modes and extras. You see, I think part of the problem is the developers aren't really good at ramping up the difficulty. Too many of the more challenging stages involve elements that are completely out of your control. The levels will set it up where you can't really tell where your ball is going to end up going or gauge where you're trying to land. There are also a number of luck-based stages, which I found more frustrating than fun. Look, there are certainly more good stages than bad, but some of the level designs can really leave a bad taste in your mouth. Now, let me be perfectly clear here. These are minor complaints. Whining that I got bored halfway through playing 300 stages is a lot like being upset that the delicious chocolate cake is too big. Most people aren't going to binge the entire game in a few sittings, but rather have a regular sized slice whenever they feel like it. Banana Mania is perfect for that kind of diet. With so many levels and mini games, you'll be collecting bananas and completing missions for months to come. There's a lot to like about Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania, almost too much. If you can only buy one Super Monkey Ball game, make sure that it's Banana Mania. By including more than 300 stages from the long-running franchise's first three games, this remastered compilation is loaded with content. And it's not just the hundreds of levels, but also the dozens of multiplayer-focused party games, a wide variety of modes, tons of unlockable, and more than 700 missions to complete. Banana Mania is not only a great compilation, but it's also a loving reminder of why we fell in love with Super Monkey Ball in the first place. Hey, thanks for watching our review. If you liked what you saw here, then you should know that we post new reviews and features almost every day. Now, here's the question I have for you. What is your favorite Super Monkey Ball game? 
I'm actually curious to hear your thoughts on the entire series, so let me see your picks in the comments below. In other news, we'll be back later this week with a look at the new batch of Nintendo Switch Online games that are headed for the, well, Nintendo Switch Online. We're going to first take a look at the Nintendo 64 games on Friday, followed on Monday with the Genesis releases. Let me tell you, we have a lot to get through. So do me a favor and click that subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then, 